it's news stories. There's that that guy who killed that girl, Anthony Powell. Anthony Powell. Yeah, um, it's a story that that I think is is only tangentially related to atheism uh, because there's there's no indication that the murder and suicide uh, were motivated by religion at all. But in his videos that he's posted, a large portion of them are just insane rants against atheists, against evolution. Uh, there are several against women. And uh, the people aren't paying too much attention to it. And uh, they're, they're writing it off as, oh, well, this has nothing to do with his murder. <laughs> Fucking wrong. Just because religion wasn't the motivating factor doesn't mean that religion didn't harm this guy. The guy clearly has several me uh, mental issues. Uh, from the looks of it, I'd say there's a, a decent chance that he has schizophrenia. And that's one of the things that they've been saying in the news reports is that he's suspected to have been schizophrenic. Yeah. Now, if anyone, you know, it, when you know schizophrenics, if they are unmedicated and have a high level of paranoia, would you fucking give them a book on demonology to convince them that there are, you know, these hidden evils everywhere? Would you give them a book about, uh, say, uh, that, that presents in a, a factual manner the existence of aliens and conspiracies? You avoid that shit. I mean, that's something that they will take away if you're in an institution. But if it's religious indication of demonology and all of this supernatural bullshit going on... All that does is engender their paranoia, give it a grain of truth, give it something that is supported by the vast majority of society. And it, it poisons their mind, and it, it makes, makes the schizophrenia far worse because it gives this indication of this true, ultimate good and this, this nefarious evil that actually exists, and no one will correct them on those things existing. That's right. Yeah, no one and will it, contradict victim. There's a, I think there's a pretty strong chance that with, with schizophrenics and with, with people of associated disorders, if weren't for society's acceptance of religion, we could see these ideas going on much faster, see that they're pro problematic much faster, and get these people help that they need. Well, religious fundamentalism actually masks, you know, real mental problems. I mean, yeah, a, a, a huge portion of various crazies uh -huh. are insanely religious. And it's because that the, it's because they have these polar ideas that are easy to understand. There's ultimate good, there's ultimate evil. Mm -hmm. And it it is a really destructive force for a mind that, that is looking for something to process that can justify the paranoia, that can justify the martyr complex. And religion, essentially, I'd say, was a huge factor in what Anthony Powell did. Yeah, I, 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 I don't want to say that it was um, causal, but it, I would say it contributed. I'd say it was causal of the condition. Well, I'd say it contributed. The, yeah. Um, that it was complicit. And, and part of what we're talking about here is it's impossible to overdose on reality. It's impossible to take reality right. too far. If you if you had the most perfect understanding of reality possible, if you knew everything about how everything worked, you would not be crazy. I mean, there could still be something physically wrong with your brain. Um, you you could still you know be uh, uh, you know imperfect, but you would have all the information necessary to make good decisions. Mm -hmm. you can overdose on fantasy and I don't care if the fantasy comes from your damn Bible or you know Star Wars there's a reason why one of my favorite clips to watch when I really need a good laugh is Triumph the Insult Comic Dog riding around at the Star Wars premiere making fun of people I'm a fan of Star Wars I watched A New Hope last night I've got them on DVD. I, I've seen all the movies a bunch of times. I enjoy them. Um, I'm not a fucking Jedi. And I don't have a problem with people who dress up or play or do fantasy stuff. Nothing at all. Uh, whatever, Do whatever you enjoy. And I don't even have a problem with the people who, um, in a simple sense, would maybe 
adopt the principles of being a Jedi and apply them to their real life. However, the people who dissociate themselves from reality, Mm -hmm. who become uh, dependent upon the fantasy, that's where the problem is. And the only way that happens is when you are giving them things that are not only different from reality, but inconsistent with reality. And to back up what Schilling was saying a minute ago, if you've got somebody who's already schizophrenic or has some other mental illness, um, you, you don't need to be stuffing their heads full of the unreal. You need to be encouraging them and stuffing their heads full of the real. Right, and it, it harms them twice over. Because, first of all, you have the, the direct harm of, of it uh, engendering their ideas, validating their paranoia, and harming their mental state. But beyond that, it, it has a harm in that people don't recognize the signs when they're religious. If you've got a guy running around who's legitimately afraid it, you know, right. these days that the KGB is after him, that's a clear sign. People yeah. know you need help. If a guy's doing the same thing with comic book characters and, and seriously believes that they're right. real, people will notice. People will try to get you help. If you're doing that with religious notions, yeah. everyone leaves it the, the fuck alone. Yeah. I, I was uh, sitting somewhere a couple weeks ago. I think I mentioned this. And there were some ladies talking behind me, chatting. One of them had been fasting and God had been doing wonderful things in her life, evidently. And another woman commented that, you know, the devil's really been coming after her lately. Um, when, when this is considered to be acceptable, normal conversation, you're right. The, yeah. the people who have real problems and some of those people probably do have real problems and some don't. I mean, the, the ladies behind me, may have been, you know, 99% sane, Mm -hmm. and their thoughts about, you know, the devil coming after them may have been met more metaphorical. They may have been met more um, as as a tool to help them fit in with the group of women they were with. Um, You know, you're going to want to speak the same language. You're going to want to, you know, when there's bad things. Those are code words. Yeah. Yeah. When there's bad things going on in your life, and you're a Christian, and you're around a bunch of other Christians then the best thing that you can do to increase your status and and gel your position within that group is to say things like, yeah, the devil's really been coming at me hard, but I've been trusting on Jesus and I'm, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm giving, praying and fasting and I'm doing better and God is doing amazing things in my life and the devil can't keep me down. Yeah. That's the absolute best thing you can do because you just reaffirmed their delusions Mm -hmm. gelled your status as somebody in the group coded with you know the right words in the faith as part of it um and you reinforced your own delusions as well at the same time and i I think christians have the biggest hard-on for the martyr complex yeah of any religion i've ever come across and so it it becomes perfectly acceptable and i think i think part of it is that the the general vernacular includes these diluted statements that are religious, and so people don't notice because they kind of share those beliefs. Yeah. But another part of it is our society's resistance to attack religious beliefs that they don't hold. The you know, well, we shouldn't talk about that kind of thing. You you know, if someone says it's religious, you just leave it alone. It's personal. And having that that uh, walking on eggshells mentality. Uh-huh. does just as much harm. Yeah. You know, there are a lot of people who were probably around this guy who thought his beliefs were fucking crazy, but didn't want to say anything and didn't want to do anything yep. because they're his religious beliefs. And, and I'll, I'll say this too, and that's that the New Age crowd and the metaphysical crowd and the, um, well, it's true to me crowd, yeah. you're contributing to the problem as well. The people who are like, well, you know, it's true for him and it works for him and it's, you know, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 no. That's part of the problem. Reality are the things that we share for the most part. When, 